The Ben Davis and Kelly K Show podcast on demand. With temperatures being so hot, hot today, Steamy. tomorrow, this week, yeah, um, you know, you may come across, you know, a dog in a car and things like that. And there's a big debate right now on social media about this incident that happened in Massachusetts in a grocery store parking lot where, you know, a woman noticed a dog in a car on a hot day. And even though the windows were down in the car, she let the dog out, gave the dog water after waiting about 10, 20 minutes and claims that it was another 20 minutes before the owners even showed up. And then uh, the owners then blasted her for opening the car. And so it got into a big, like, kind of dramatic little kerfuffle there that was captured on film. You a kerfuffle. my door in my car. Do you want me to call the cops Do you want me to call the cops you on you? And you yeah, so they were just, Ooh. yeah, back and forth. Rawr, 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 rawr. So then people were like, okay, so you come across a, a dog in a, a car on a day like today. What do you do? And Yeah, we've actually done this experiment like years ago in my driveway. We had EMS there, and we kind of we measured. We put a dog. No, we didn't put a dog. No, no, no. We it put was ourselves. me. It was me. We put ourselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we put you in the car to see how quickly it can get dangerously hot and it was inside of 10 minutes yeah it was it it was pretty hot and just showed you know with all the windows rolled up that if the temperatures get to be in the 90s it can get up to like 140 degrees in the car pretty quickly yeah and even with the windows down on a super hot day it's it's not safe so and and i kind of tend to think that the woman did the right thing by, you know, especially if it's 40 minutes that mm-hmm. she was aware of. And then who knows, you know, how long the the dog had been in there before she discovered it. it. This always takes me back to that scene in The Office. The Office is that iconic show from the 2000s where um, Oscar, uh, they all come across a dog, again, trapped in in a car on a hot day. Can you believe this? There's a dog in the car. Yeah, this clip is about 30 seconds, but it's hysterical. Okay, we have to do something because this is incredibly dangerous. Oscar, it's not that hot out. A car parked in the sun is like a toast oven. Well, we don't know how long the driver's been gone, and it's not in direct sunlight. So what, Andy? You want to just let him die, you scumbag? This guy's been gone long <laughs> enough. He's lost his right to a window. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, hey, buddy, get back. What you, what? No, hey. Oh! 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 So, uh, who's going to take the dog? Why would we take the dog? What if he jumps out the window and runs away? Jim, he's not going to start... Oh! <laughs> so, so, like, so you're kind of on the side of the woman who took the dog out of the car. Um, yeah, I kind of think so. I mean, the windows are down, so it's not like they had to, you know, break the windows like that. Like Oscar? Clip, but, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. But, you know, I, I feel as though... Yeah, I, I, you know, I think she kind of did the right thing just hanging out and giving the dog some water. This is one of those moral things that I hope I never find myself in because I would be so wrestling with, like, what do I do? Like, especially if, you know, maybe the sunroof is open or something, but the windows are rolled up and the dog is is there in the car and it's a hot day and you're like... I know, then are you climbing on the car and trying to get into the sunroof to get the car or to get the dog? How much do you insert yourself into the business of other people I when it know. comes that, that to, tough. yeah, and, and who knows, maybe that person just like stopped, it was going to run into the store for like five minutes to grab one thing and come out and, you know, no harm, no foul. But, you know, maybe you come across it like in that in minute three and you have no idea where the owner is and you're like, okay, so how long do I hang around here until I do something? I mean, you know, she she hung out for 20 minutes yeah. before doing something, and then it was another 20 minutes. So I kind of think she did the right, the right thing in yeah. trying to, you know, yeah. linger to see if she could figure out the situation. I think, I think she really did. I and I understand that the woman comes out and she is super offended because she thinks someone is telling her she's a bad pet parent. But right. you kind of are if you're leaving your dog alone that long in a car. Well, I remember I was jogging with Fiona, my dog. And this is when I, w- I took her on jogs because she's a little too old now to, to do that. But 
uh, it was it was a pretty warm day, and you know she loved to go out on runs with me. And so I was jogging, and some lady yelled at me because I was jogging with my dog on a sunny day. And it was in the summertime, so it's not like cold. It was, I mean, it was a warm day. And she was yelling at me and saying that uh, her paws are burning and uh, that what I'm doing is cruel. And this is like in the literal like 20 seconds it took for me to pass by her. Oh, wow. Yeah. So well, it, how it, did you feel about that? Were you like, oh, does she have some extra knowledge about dogs and hot weather that I don't know about? Well, I kind of felt maybe like the woman who had the dog in the car yeah. like i was like well, who are you to tell me what's good for my dog like i yeah i know what i know what i'm doing and and i've done this plenty of times with my dog and she loves it and you know she's fine but and my dog has never told me anything different right right exactly <laughs> so anyways we'll we'll tweet the story out so if you want to kind of like get in on that debate uh at ben and kelly show